Hi guys, um, my name is Rajni and um, if you are new here, uh, click on the subscribe button and you'll see my other tutorials. Um, today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Um, it's my first time doing a review. I haven't really done much reviews on my channel. I've always been kind of art, make it tutorials, make it tutorials, because that's my kind of thing. So what my review is on today is the um, Molly Cosmetics uh, silicone sponge. Okay, so it comes in that kind of packet. Um, Let's see what it says here. Take a small amount of cream or liquid product and go in circular motions or back and forth to spread until it stops spreading further. There shouldn't be any product left on the silly sponge at this point. Okay, so this is a silly sponge. <laughs> I've seen this being reviewed on YouTube quite a lot and I, I just wanted to kind of see what this was like because it looked like it was a really nice product to use. I've seen it being used with uh, cream stick foundations and um, it seems to work quite well. I personally didn't like it, um, but that might be just because I'm using a, a different formula with it. I personally didn't like it because I felt like um, it didn't blend my foundation. It kind of just pushed it into place um, and didn't really kind of really kind of make it sink into the skin. I wasn't a fan of that. And I quite like my foundations to really sort of sink into the skin um, and become part of the skin. Um, whereas this one, I just felt it was kind of sitting on top. And that might just be because of the size of it, because it's actually quite small. When you hold it up in comparison to like a beauty blender, the actual beauty blender is actually quite big, if you think, if you think that's a beauty blender and that's the size of that one. It's quite big. And with a beauty blender, you can kind of mold it and point and press and kind of really shape it to the contours of your face, whereas this is a little bit more difficult. It's really difficult to kind of get into the nooks and crannies, say, around the nose area and up into this this area. Um, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I haven't really tried it with a stick foundation, so perhaps if I have a stick foundation, it might work a bit better. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I've seen it being reviewed. Um, there's mixed reviews on it. Um, but yeah, I don't really rate it, to be 100% honest with you, but then my, again, like I said, it was my first time using it, so I don't know really. Um, but if you have had good experiences with this, um, leave a comment in the description box, oh sorry, leave a comment in the um, uh, comment section, let me know um, how you got on with it, and what products you used with it, because I'm really interested to know, because I kind of really wanted it to work for me. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to carry on using my trusty beauty blender just for now until I come across something that tops that. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it's not really else a lot I can say about the product apart from that it cost me £10. Um, so I'm a little bit gutted about, well yeah, £10? Well, I think that's the equivalent in dollars. Um, but yeah, it, it's okay. I mean, like I said, it might just be because I've used it with a product that it's not designed to be used with, but it does say cream on there, so, um, and it does say sort of liquid foundations on there, so I don't know, maybe that's me. But yes, if you have any uh, comments, leave them in the comment box below, press on that subscribe button, press the like button, and um, you will find, like I said, other tutorials um, that I've created before. If you have any requests, please do let me know, and I will try and get them done for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Have a lovely day doing whatever you're going to do today. And um, that's about it. And I will see you all soon. Bye.